MCFB Live 98. As you know, it's always the same. We're always on the lookout in search for awesome. Who's blowing it up? Who's pushing the edge? Who's innovating? Who's reinventing? Who's transforming tonight? Uh, we're gonna. Our special guest is. You're just gonna love her. I just. Uh, you know, I've known her for many moons. Miss Kirsten Motts, ultimate hair designer, Newton, New Jersey. Her mother. I love her mother, Miss Glenda. I hope you're uh, hanging out with us tonight. And uh, she's going to be talking about something very, very near and dear to my heart. And I know near and dear to a lot of people watching. Listen closely. Blowing up your average ticket. Yes, with associate planning. But blowing it up, doing less clients, and as a result, making more money. I mean, that almost sounds counterintuitive. Let me tell you a little bit about her before we bring her on. She's in a green room. She's 30 years old. She's a level 4A, second generation hairdresser. Yes, we've got blessed. Uh, Glenda, and uh, 2006, she goes to junior college, graduates hair school, starts, at, uh, starts out at a new appointment salon, ends up coming back to the fam business, joins Ultima, really steeped in Redken education, and also uh, tear sheet, Mr. G, he's uh, knocking it out of the park as well. But the biggie, I think the golden nugget on the story, you guys, is in 2016 as a level four, she does uh, just under 1,000 clients, nine, just like 992 appointments, average ticket 106, and of course she begins her family. First born child, takes a little sabbatical, comes back the next year, kind of wakes up, has this awakening and says, okay, I want to work hard to reinvent myself this year. Uh, I want to achieve, you know, level 4A status, and, and, but I want to increase my income by 10000 and here's how she does it. This is why I got her on tonight, you guys. She's doing it on 740 clients this year, which is way different than 992. I mean, you do the arithmetic on that, uh, Rand Man, and that, what is that, about 180 less people, but because her average ticket is 160 she's able to pull off a $10,000, approximate $10,000 uh, raise in her W-2. That's why she's, uh, she's on a big tonight. So, uh, you know, as I said before, 28 hours a week, by the way, um, 10 grand more, 250 fewer guests, uh, level 4A, average ticket 160, haircut 61, so that's almost, that's a 2.6 sticker, almost 3. 100 plus referrals. She's a referral rainmaker in the salon. Rebooks 90%. I mean, I could go on and on. Her, her social media, we're going to get her to talk about that because she's got an aspect of social, you know, the whole photo shoot because of her affiliation with Tearsheet and Giovanni. iPhone 8 Plus, MacBook Pro, Canon Rebel T6, 196 followers on her uh, uh, Instagram page. Does about 20 guests a week, 10 photo shoots a week. Does a lot of video for Insta stories, only posts that looks that she wants, you know, like as in high ticket. So, like, listen, man, what, without any further ado, I'm going to bring her on. We're going to be talking about uh, her story, and then she's going to be sharing uh, her, um, her, her uh, 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 social media. So let me, get, let me get it out. There she is. Give it up for Miss Kirsten, will you guys? <laughs> Did you hear me bragging on you? I did. Thank you. You're so kind. All right. It's good to have you. Um, so get a story, get us started on your story, like, you know, once upon a time, what it was like and what really kind of inspired you to, like, you know, get into hairdressing. Okay. So as you said, um, my mom is a hairdresser, so I'm a second generation hairdresser. I graduated high school. Mom was, like, going to college. So I went to college and, you know, I'm a learner, I'm a hands-on learner, and I just wasn't into it. So I kind of negotiated my way into going to hair school. And if you know, you know my mom, she's a tough cookie. So she's like, you're going to go to college and hair school at the same time. Oh so God. I did that. <laughs> and um, I was eager. All my friends were going to four-year colleges and out on their own and living the life. And I wanted to do that, but I wanted to make money. So um, I tried to work for my mom, but she was like, you know what, no, go get your feet wet somewhere else. So go pretty much like make your mistakes, go learn what the industry is like before you come work for us. And she was a summit salon at that point as well. So 
She sent me to another salon. I would come home and show her my sales tickets at 30 haircuts a day, around five to $10 a piece. And uh, I was burned out. So um, I thought, you know what, why don't I volunteer some of my time at the salon on my days off? She's not gonna say no to some free help. So eventually, you know, a client came in with their kid. There was no one available. And I was like, well, I'm here, I, I, can, I can do this. And so from that day on, I, I worked through the level system and here I am today at a level 4A and uh, ready to share the wealth. Yeah, like as in making you know, big, big time. So great. So now you're with Ultima, you're with your mother, you're working. And so now you're doing, I think the next question on everyone's mind is what made the difference for you? I know there were some definable moments once you got on and started getting cooking, you know, with Redkin and and uh, Giovanni. So talk a little bit about that. So our salon is a summit salon. So we are founded by education. And uh, I got to my first Redkin exchange class and I looked at them and I was like, that I need to be that, that has to be me. So I was hungry. I went for it in 2011. I got hired on as a Redkin artist. I had met some pretty awesome people and what got some great education with the company. Um, and then I managed to meet my mentor, Giovanni Gentoli of Tearsheet. And I got my hands in on some editorial work and learning how to style hair for imagery. And from then on out, I just carried that on into my salon work. Um, utilizing social media to build social media referrals, but not just any referral, what I wanted in my chair to make me, you know, more money. <laughs> yeah. So now here you are, and we'll talk more about the, you know, Giovanni and Tearsheet and, and, and how it's, its footprint is on your, 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 your social media and your photo shoot. But you're, you're in a place now, Kirsten, that's just extraordinary. And what I'm curious about is what is your life like now and how is it different than what it was, you know, a little while back? Okay, so now, per se, I would say that um, my, my goals are a little bit different. Um, I, we just bought our dream home and our forever home. We're growing a family, whereas in the beginning, I was just, like, trying to get my hands on everything, experience everything that I could to, you know, build this so I could be doing this here today. Yeah, and and now you're like you know you're 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 getting very very refined, and I want to make more money in in less time working on less people, and and you're using social media to do that, and we want to I'm, I'm I'm about a minute away from that, but what's what's the future hold for you now? I mean, like what's what's next in 2018 for Kirsten? So 2018. Um... Financially, we're college planning for my son, and we're trying to really, I'm refining my book so that I can be home for dinner at night. You know, we want to grow our family a little bit more. So in order to do that, you know, I grew up with a single mom that was working all the time. And, you know, I am so blessed and grateful for all of her achievements. Um, but, you know, I would like to be home for dinner. Well, that, I mean, so, that's really one of the reasons why I wanted you on tonight, Kirsten, is for that. I wanted everybody to listen to what you just said, and that is, you know, uh, on the front end of 30-something, starting a family, I mean, you're like, you brought working smarter, not harder, to a whole new level. I mean, I'm like last year, I, I earned $10,000 more working on like 180 less people this year, I'm going to earn $20,000 more whilst working on less people inside of a 28-hour week. And, and, and your, re, your big why is because I have my family. Like, I'm really, really focused now. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in work-life balance. And, I, you know, that is something that's a non-negotiable for me. But what also is a non-negotiable is that we are a two-income family. So I'm an equal contributor to our life and finance. So for me, it was really important. I mean, I have to tell you, when I was going out on maternity leave, we had just started doing these lives and I was freaking out. I was like, how am I going to retain all of my clients? How am I going to make money? Now I have another mouth to feed and to worry about. I've got college to pay for everything, you know, 
all of those worries that first time moms have in our industry were very, very real for me. And I felt like when I saw you starting to do the how to book the windows of time the right way, that is how I set up my book for when I came home. And then I dived just a little bit deeper. I thought, how can I bring more traffic to my social media and more of what I love to do and more of what I want to do so that I don't have to be here as much? Right. I mean, you and I have been kind of communicating on Facebook Messenger, and you were showing me, you know, the videos you were doing and the posts, and you got me very, very curious, and it took us about a year to kind of incubate this to, you know, have you on to actually show the blueprint. So before we do that, though, I want your last word for the people that are kind of like, they're in the place that you used to be, and they're listening to where you're at now, and they're, you know, there's fear. There's, and so what do you say to them that might inspire them to go for what you're reaching? Yeah, so if I had to tell them, give them any advice, it would be you know, post everything. When you're in the beginning, if you're in a summit salon or not in a summit salon, if you're in the beginning of your career, you just want people in your chair. So whereas right now I'm posting higher ticket items that I want in my chair, right? the goal is to get anybody in your chair at that point to build that clientele because that person has brothers, sisters, mothers, friends, all of those people that are, they're going to share that with you. Um, and also I think, you know, find someone to mentor you because I think that is really key in what helped me throughout my career and what helped me grow from, let's say, level two to level four which is a pretty uh, a big oh. jump in this. Yeah, I just, I mean, I loved how you put that. And, you know, there's there's real-time mentors. You have them. And, and then there's, you know, you kind of augment that by coming on programs like this and being on the receiving end of this conversation, which in and of itself is a, is a mentoring, is a tutorial. Now, I want to move into the social thing in, in your posting plan. And you kind of, you went there, and I thought it was really, really profound. And that is... That you, you, when somebody's in level one, two, and three, they're posting different yeah. than you, which in, you know, four, four, and talk about that, those, you know, the difference between level one and three building uh, on social versus level four posting for a full book. Yeah. So, and like, and, and it's very much so kind of like what your schedule looks like too. You have more time in your schedule to do color corrections and creative colors and things like that. So I think that when you're posting as a level one, level two stylist, your just main focus is to, you know, stay on trend, be in with the trends, but also to get people to um, just just engage in you and what brand it is you're creating. I mean, in those levels, though, I think that you don't necessarily know what your brand is yet. I think when you figure your brand out, that's more of like a level three type of um, feeling or, or, or something that you finally understand. Um, I, at least that was for me. That's when I started fine tuning what I was good at because I was also building a skill set too throughout right. the entire level system. Right. Which you knew. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I love that. I love your language, you know, posting on you working. So social media best practice level one, two and three is really about building the book. And then there's this pivot that you're doing now as a four, four A. And that is as, and you and I were talking about this distilling, refining the post, getting more focused on what brings in full looks, you know, the, the infamous 160, 70, 80, 200 dollar ticket, because that's where the traction is. Listen, we, we've got a few more minutes left with it, and I really want you to get into your, um, you have like three keys, you know, the imagery, the onset, and tools. Talk about those three keys, because they're huge. Yeah, so I think um, verbiage is really important too because when I talk to my guests about being on set and how I'm going to style their hair, um, that takes it to another level for them because they're like, oh, oh, we're going on set. Um, so the first thing I do is I really like to make them feel comfortable 
I let them know that I'm going to take a couple of different um, shots, that I'm going to position them, and that not to worry. I, I'm just, I'm very selfish. I just want their hair. I don't want anything else in the picture. So it makes it a little bit lighter for them. It doesn't make them feel so nervous. Um, and then, then I really just dive in and, you know, I'm paying attention, like, does the hair look polished? Um, is this look trending? Is this something that I want to post? Is this something that I want someone to like and see and be like, that's what I want. I need to go to her because this is exactly what I want. Um, so that's one, that, that those are two steps really. Um, and also their clothing. I like to pay attention to their clothing. If it's, if it's distracting, sometimes I'll, I'll make sure that they're still wearing their color down or something like that. Um, and then, um, you know, the tools that we use are really important as well. Um, I have to say, I mean, if, when, if you look at my Instagram, you can see like kind of when I upgraded my phone because the images just got that much better. Um, and also I always bring with me, um, you know, like whatever tool I was last using to style their hair, because chances are they're going to put their hands through their hair. They're, it's their hair. They're, they're loving their look. You just got done talking to them about how good it looks. So they're, you know, you're going to have to fix a few things. And plus when you get on set, there are some things that you may see in the camera or on your, you know, phone that you don't normally see when you're styling hair behind the chair whether there be like some gaps in the hair or flyaways, you want it to look as professional as possible. I'm, I'm just loving this, uh, Kirsten, and in, in, in the language, and I know a lot of that language that you're using, and somebody, I'm reading a comment, Amel just said, I love saying, quote, on set, unquote. So, I, and I think it's your influence from Tear Sheet that it really, the, the photo shoot now has become and I'm getting goosebumps as I'm talking to you about this because it's so important. And, and it's become now a, a kind of like a blow your socks off guest experience that while you're, you know, uh, documenting content, you're also, the, the guest is like, this is amazing. Like I've never had the kind of experience that I'm having here. And your language is just something that adds to that experience. It's extraordinary. Yeah, so, I, you know, again, I feel like that also comes along with the level system. I mean, you just get a little bit more comfortable because as a level 4 and 4A, you kind of like, I mean, I know they, they say it takes 10,000 hours, but, you know, kind of at that point, you've been working on your your communication skills with your guests for 10,000 hours. You are perfecting what you've done at that level. That's what, what it should be. Right. It's interesting. I'm, I'm reading the comments come in in Natalie Ramsey Hanlon, which is, you know, one of the the uh, the, the uh, social media masters on, on the page that the secret group that you're on now. And she's saying this is an absolute best yet. So we're making history, uh, you know, as we speak. And I, I, I really want especially, the, you know, the four and the four double A's that are really into the social media. They're, they're ahead of the curve and they're going, OK, what's next for me? You've taken your photography, your shoots to a level, and I know it's because of the relationship that you have with Tearsheet. So I'm going to encourage you to put in the comment box if that if people are curious about this this thing with the Tearsheet with regard to now there's there's a whole social media photography training, photo shoot training part of that that I want you to talk about. We're we're out of time, but I know that I'm going to have you back to talk more about this into the future. Great. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Well, once again, on behalf of everybody watching the show, it was just a, an extraordinary conversation, my friend. Say hi to your lovely mother for me, and, and I hope to be in your world soon. Take care of your family. Uh, go for the 20 grand. I want to stay close to you, have you back on for an encore. Let's give it up one more time for Ms. Kirsten. <laughs> we'll be talking. Stay well. One more time, you guys, give it up for her. It was, it, was, it was unbelievable. And before signing off, I really do want to recap what she said, because what she said was nothing short of extraordinary. Her, her posting, what I, what I took away from this tutorial tonight is if you're a level one, two, three, your social media best practices are different. 
It's about I want to get as many people in as I can to fill up my openings. But once you're at level four, four, eight, let's face it, you're booked. But I want to be booked with higher tickets so that I can work less hours, do less people, and make more money. She's, she's brought that to a, in 2017. She made $10,000 more working on just this side of 200 clients less. I mean, that's you, you try to wrap your mind around that. And now in 2018, she's going to drive her income up another 20,000 working on even less clients inside of a 28 hour week. But she's using social. She's distilling and refining her post, her clientele. She's refining, refining. Those guests that are not uh, ready to go with her, she's handing those off to other people in, in ones and twos and threes so that she has those openings of her book because she's very, very clear of where she wants to go. Now, and, and inside of that, her photo shoots, because of her affiliation, she is actually uh, an educator not only for Redken, but also Tearsheet. And now Tearsheet has a, uh, a, a kind of like an advanced social media photo shoot training. So you're going to want to like stay close to her. She does hair and make sure it looks polished. Really, she used to wear trend, making sure that the clothing doesn't distract from the photo shoot. Explains the process to relax her guests. Uh, note the body position, head and shoulders. Are there gaps in the hair? I mean, this is why her Redken training, uh, as well as um, a tear sheet, is so important on the technical. How's the lighting? She understands what lighting is because of uh, her affiliation with tear sheet. Makes hair the focus. Keep an eye on the background so that that's not distracting. You don't want to have these backdrops anymore that are iconalicious. And again, iPhone 8 Plus, Canon Rebel T6, MacBook Pro, ring light, softbox, natural lighting, combing. And with the very comb and brush she uses and finishes, she actually brings that into the photo shoot. So uh, planning her income to meet her life is brilliant. Yes, I, I, I can't agree more, Sandy. So extraordinary show tonight. Give it up one more time for Miss Kirsten um, Mons. show, I want to just give you a heads up. Hang out on Michael Cole Summit. That's the Facebook page you're watching this now. This is being syndicated out to about 100 pages. So now we went syndication. I have no idea what that means, except that it gets to more private groups and secret groups and school pages. So it's really wonderful to see how this thing is morphing. It's just extraordinary. I get goosebumps every time I think about it. 98th episode, by the way. Um, the other thing that I want to uh, alert you to is Instagram.com, Michael Cole Summit. It's the same call out. But uh, Summit Salon, uh, the social media, we now have a team of people that we can help you online as well. So it, that the, if you're a salon spa owner and you would like some social media consulting, we can do that virtually uh, to help you develop some key strategic best practices and goals, keep everyone inspired. We've got social media virtual coaching. Choose from if you're a beginner, an inter intermediate, advanced. That can be scheduled when your team is available. Again, it's virtual, so it's recorded. Um, Casey Cunningham, oh, my God, it is Tarzan time, Casey. So, uh, you know, uh, we'll make sure that the team man comes. Oh! And, uh, so, oh! Yeah, targeted consulting services, social media virtual training, complimentary one-hour consulting. So, if you're an owner, you're interested in that, it, we, you, we can do one-hour consultation, one 800 718-5949 is the number of the call, or visit summitsalon.com uh, social media and to download the PDF flyer. You'll, you'll find out more about it. Now, on, we got a whole bunch of free stuff on summitsalon.com. You can actually go back uh, if you hit uh, summitsalon.com slash Michael MC Live, you will see all of our edited curated interviews. We now have them in micro learning. Just hang out on this page. You'll see them. The, 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 let this page be your mentor in, in making big boom boom behind the chair. I mean, it's amazing. 
And then on top of that, we now also have a, a page on the homepage mobile calculator page for free, where you can now learn how to use our calculators to break your yearly goal into monthly, weekly, daily, both in service and retail. This is how Kirsten is uh, hitting her mark. So it's just extraordinary. Now, in saying goodbye tonight, I always like to uh, thank our sponsors. Of course, we got L'Oreal PPD, Professional Product Division. Here are the brands. I'm going to be doing uh, the National Sales Conference for Salon Centric this weekend. We love them as well. State Beauty, RDA Promark. These are the people, in addition to the Summit Salon Business Center, that bring all the energy so that we can bring this out to you. So on behalf of all of those and the Summit Salons that are watching, thank you very much, and we will see you next week.